Smart Home Hacks One such problem area, for instance, may be a weakness in the cloud server that the owner uses to remotely operate the property, or even something apparently unimportant like a smart light switch. Cloud Danger Fibero According to Kaspersky, anybody was able to upload and download the backup data for the smart hub to and from the cloud server using the Fibero smart home. A hacker is likely to leverage one of the flaws for remote code execution and obtain superuser powers on the system after they have gained access to the admin panel. Superusers have complete freedom inside the house. A malicious update for Fibero. As we've already said, backup copies might be uploaded as well as downloaded without permission from the Fibero server. Additionally, sending messages or emails to the homeowner was possible thanks to the cloud. In other words, all the attackers had to do to get past the victim to install the update was to produce a malicious backup copy, upload it to the server, and then wait. You may accomplish this by mimicking a Fibero message. We can only hope that other companies who make smart devices stay off on this virtual rake and consider these mistakes while designing their systems. Nest, smart switch for cameras. Devices that are Nest compatible may read and modify settings, including home and away properties that indicate whether the owner is present or not. All devices that require them to function are able to access the values of these characteristics in a single storage area. The CASA software erroneously identified the hacker as the server, allowing attackers to connect to the server in its place. Numerous Nest device applications provide false information regarding the access privileges necessary for operation. For instance, the description of a thermostat control app can state that it has to have access to the home, away attribute in order to operate the device. Third-party applications are welcome. The issue of third-party apps receiving privileges also applies to the Philips Hue smart lighting system. Every software that wants to connect to the smart home must ask the owner for permission. By physically pushing a button on the control panel that manages communication with the Hue units, this permission can be given. Because of the requirement for the app and control unit to be on the same local network for that to function, neighbors and bystanders are unable to access your smart home by timing the appropriate request to arrive at the right time. In general, it's a fantastic concept in terms of security. This is due to the fact that the value of one of the control unit parameters is used by the system's brain to identify whether the button has been activated. Additionally, by utilizing the same option, it is also capable of blocking access to authorized devices that the owner has linked. How to keep your smart home secure? It would be more uncomfortable if a security camera or smart lock were hacked. It's a good idea to reduce the danger of hacking if you do decide that you need a smart home. Once you've chosen a specific app or device, be sure to keep informed about updates and vulnerabilities.